In this video, I'm going to show you a great program of how you can brand yourself when you're doing live video. That's right. When you're doing live video, I'm going to show you a program where you connect this program to your social media. And we're going to go over LinkedIn specifically, but StreamYard it is a live streaming platform can help your brand and your business stand out in front of the crowd. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. In today's video, we're all about you standing out when you're doing live streaming video using StreamYard programming. Absolutely, I love StreamYard and it's really good to use, very simple to use when you're going ahead and branding yourself and illustrating your message out to the marketplace. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. But before I do that, I got some shout outs. I want to shout out to Ambot Locust, Gabriel Simmons, and Jamie Armstrong. I'm going to give some shout outs to them. They watched my last video. They commented on there and I want to give them some love and show some love to their channels and show some love to their message as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. So let me go ahead and show you my screen what we're talking about today. So right now we're at StreamYard programming, live streaming. I'm so excited because I've done two videos about this when we're using StreamYard with YouTube and using StreamYard through Facebook Lives. Now we're gonna talk about connecting this with your LinkedIn profile, which when you're doing videos on LinkedIn. So if you're a LinkedIn fan or if you have a LinkedIn account, you wanna pay attention to this message today. So easy way of understanding StreamYard it's just really going to StreamYard.com. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go to Google and we'll go to StreamYard. So I'll go to Google. I'm going to type in StreamYard. Make it really easy for you. StreamYard right there. And StreamYard, click on here. And right below this video, I do got information for you. Go ahead and sign up on your free account. You can sign up for a free account and go ahead and start using StreamYard today on multiple streams on multiple platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and today we're gonna to talk about LinkedIn and specifically. So, pretty much the easiest way to create professional live streaming videos, it really is. I love the branding material as well. And if you can come down here, you can also learn more about StreamYard and other people that have used it, other users like Frank Kern, you also got Linda Nance, you've got other people who left, left really good testimonials about the services. Effortless do it's a great app and now says it has a really good app You can go to StreamYard and you can download it on your mobile devices as well So you can learn more about StreamYard by going to the website and reading the information about it What I like about it is it's very easy to use and it's a good way of branding your business So the first thing you want to do is you want to get started So if you don't have a login information if you don't have a free account already you will want to go and click on get started and you'll put your email address there. What happens is they'll send you a login code and you use that login code to log into StreamYard. So that's what you'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, but I still have to put my email address in here. So I'm going to put my email address that's associated with my account with StreamYard. And also you can click on create an, an account if you do not have an account with StreamYard. So I'm going to click right there. So it's going to give me a six digit code. So I'm going to get my six digit code right here. I'm going to check my, my mail and I have it and see if they've already sent it. Wow. That's really quick. They send this really fast. Look at this guys. This was within seconds. So that's the code right there that they send you. So I'm going to go ahead and log in zero three five six three three. So that is my code there and voila, I'm already signed in to StreamYard. Now, the first thing you wanna go ahead and do is go to destinations and making sure you're connected properly to your proper platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a destination here and we're going to look at LinkedIn today. We've done YouTube, we've done Facebook. So go back and watch those videos about connecting YouTube and Facebook and making sure all those are properly connected but it's really, really simple and easy to use. So we're gonna go into the LinkedIn profile today. So we're gonna connect LinkedIn right here and I'm going to sign in right there. So I'm gonna sign in, sign in here. 
and I'm gonna allow me to use this here. So I'm connecting LinkedIn to StreamYard, very easy to use. So StreamYard would like to use the following, this information here. So if, making sure if you want them to use that, I want them to allow that. And so now I'm allowing this, I've got my name and I have my picture here. I want them to go ahead and use this information. So let's choose to connect. I'm gonna connect this together and it's connected, that simple. And right here, you'll see the fact that when I click on create a broadcast, you should see my LinkedIn information in here. So I got my Facebook, 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 and look at that, LinkedIn right there. That's the profile we just get connected, just like that. Now I'm looking at the title of my video. What's the title this is gonna be? I can say how to use StreamYard live streaming with LinkedIn. That's how you spell LinkedIn. <laughs> Let me just look at it. That's how you spell LinkedIn. Uh, let me see. How to, to use live streaming with StreamYard. Yard, and I can just say StreamYard live streaming. Oops, okay. And then from here, description is basically a description of the video that you're putting out there. So you can just put whatever information that's related to your topic. And then from there, you wanna go to privacy. So if you want this to be public, first three connections only. So we're gonna go ahead and go and use public for now. And so now it's gonna enter me to the next phase of my live streaming video. I could turn on my camera on, I'm gonna leave my camera off for now on this on this training here, but I also can adjust my mute here. I can adjust my volume, my microphone volume right here. And the display name, I can change my name or I can go to a different name. So enter without a cam. So right here, I'm gonna move this just over just a little bit here. So now I'm gonna click here and click here because I got my camera off. And you pretty much will go right down the line and right here to edit places you'll just edit and make your changes. So at the top here, we'll start the comments. This is where when you go live, when you click on going live here and when you're connecting it, when you're connecting your, your live video, when you're going live, your comments should come right here from LinkedIn. So when you go live through your profile through LinkedIn, very similar to Facebook where your comments will come right here. So you can go ahead and start really chatting with them right through your StreamYard profile, which is really cool. So you don't have to go on LinkedIn and connect with them in terms of talking to them as well. So that's really good. So you just basically connect that together as well. You can show, and you also can show your actually comments right on your screen live. So if someone said something, their information will go right there and you just click on the show. I, show here so show hi show hi and then learn more you can click anything about learning more about connecting that you'll click here and it'll walk you through the steps the banner information i really like because you can literally put in um information and visuals so i can say um live streaming so that'd be my folder name and then under my folder name i can go and put messages i can say hey um live today and so i could live today and look at that live today so look at this so that's what my message could be live today and then my audience would see that they would actually see that information there so i could type in any banner information i want that's related to my video so i can do that i can hide it and i also can click on edit Check, look at this edit here and i can scroll it like a across bottom ticker Look at this, save that information there, and then I can show it. See that live today, it's really, really cool. It's a nice branding feature that you can use that's part of your video, part of your branding, part of your business, part of your message. You literally can have your message right here. Whatever message that you're really delivering, what's the name of your TV show or your, your episode or your video, you can actually have that information right here and it's really, really cool, easy to use. Remember, StreamYard, if you have not signed up already, click on the link below this video that you can go ahead and sign up for your free account. We can start using this really, really good live streaming platform. So we'll go ahead and connect that off. And then now we'll go, so remember I started the folder and I can add my streams there. 
brand here, you can go right where it just says branding color. So I can change my color here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change a branding color to blue. Let's see here. So to blue, so that's my branding color here. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna show you that. See my logo there. Move this here. And you can use default or minimal. That's just basically showing you that. Look at these also question marks here. It's gonna show you exactly what you need to do in terms of information. So it's gonna say, give you some message information or may give you some steps or some things you need to do. So you definitely don't follow whatever those question marks is telling you. So this one here just says basically this color is to use for your banner, on-screen comments, and display name, which is very true because when I go ahead and display my name, if I go back to my comments here, I'm gonna go back to my banner, it's going to actually show, I'm gonna take this off here, save this, because I wanted to show my banner, it's gonna show that, see that? Because I changed the color. So when here, I went minimal, see that, default. So I changed the color, just like it says go right here. And same thing with theme, it says choose a style that fits your brand. So we can go with this, or we go with that. So there's only two different styles that you actually use for that. So let me go back under banner and just take that all I can hide this. So, so that's the, the theme, the branding color, the logo. You can download your logo here by using the recommended size, 150 by 150. And you also can look at the PNG and GIF, GIF with a transparent background. Make sure it's very transparent like this one here. This is a transparent background right here that we have. And you can also download it right here or upload your logos if you have it on your computer. Really simple to use. And going on down here, same thing with overlay. It has the specs there as well. Recommended sizes, 120, 80 by 720. You can download those as well. This is the one that you give you automatically. It's kind of like a default that StreamYard uses. You can use this That's part of your, your videos or your branding. If not, I just won't use it at all, or I just either create my own one or just use something else. So basically you can upload, if you have one already, you can just upload it right here by clicking there. Um, I, I put a logo here before to see how it looks. You can put a picture there. You can just kind of play around with it. But if you want the overlay that's like similar to this, you want to use the specs right here. It's the specs and the video length right there if you want to use that, just to let you know there. And come on down here to background, just like what it says, you can use the default background that StreamYard gives you to, gives to you, or you can look at the specs here, of course, 120, 80 by 720, use their specs in terms of a background or just like an overlay, except they sit behind your stream. So it's really cool, it sits right behind it, you actually can put some really good branding material like the name of your of your video, your channel up here. You can put a logo down here. You can really do a lot with this, actually. And so sometimes you can do like a little preview background that I did before. So I, did, I create this like a little preview so I can play this and then I can go away from it and come straight live when I'm doing here. So this is good branding material that I built through. Actually, I built this through Canva and Pixteller. There's two other programs that you can kind of build different pages and things like that. So that's what I did with that. So you can use the background or no background at all. And you can upload one just by clicking one right there. Display name, just like what it says, show displays name. It's just like what it says. You can do question mark what that is. If you don't want your name to appear at the bottom, you can just turn it off like here or turn it on. I'm sure you want your name on there. If you don't want your name on there, you can just turn it off here. And down here, you can leave the studio. So if this is just a test, you don't want to go live, you can just leave the actually studio part. This is everything's getting you ready to go live. So you position yourself, you getting everything to go live. So this is kind of like the back studio part that we on right now. So this is really, really cool. You can invite people to your lives. So you can have up to 10 people and you can actually give them this link here, their private link of the 10 people and they'll be placed in your studio there and check this out, this one area I didn't show you, when you give them this link and click here for instructions, you can also uh, copy the clipboard, you can email them, you can message them as well through here. You can also chat with them, private chat with those, those people right here. It says private chat, so the 10 people you add, you can probably chat with them 
right here, up to 10 people, which is really good. This is really good for like a little team huddle groups or something like that. This goes really, really well with that. And let's see, um, also it says share your screen. So if you can share your screen, so if you got work to show or if you got other things, images to show to them, you can click on share screen and you just click here and you go right to you want to share it to them. You can sure share them anything that you're trying to share to them. So I can share them information right in there. So it's really, really cool just by clicking there. And then here is just like editing your, I can start my camera, I can adjust my my mute, I can turn my volume channel, my volume actually, adjust that, and then of course my camera and microphone here. That's really simple to use. It's pretty much in your settings. So you can turn your camera on, adjust your volume, adjust your microphone. And your settings is right here, is you can go right there as well. So your settings, you can go to settings and get all that information I just did your guests, your green screen, your audio, your camera, and your general information about it. So really, really simple. And after you're done with all that, you'll just go live. You can click on going live here. You can also, before you go live, you can edit the title or you can also put a description in there. You can actually change your privacy. So it's really good before you go live and you just go live you know you can change this you can remove edit there like we just did and you can just go live and go live in your video with linkedin go ahead and start doing your first video on linkedin it's really good use Streamyard because Streamyard you can use a lot of different elements in terms of branding your actually message i'm back here let's go ahead and do this i'm excited to show this to you because StreamYard is like transformational when in, term, when in terms to doing live videos or even recorded tape videos. So you can actually do a video through StreamYard and schedule it out on a later time, or you can do the video. And then what you can do is you can say, okay, I'm gonna take the video, edit it, and I wanna send it out to a different platform. So you can do that as well. So use StreamYard today. If you don't know about StreamYard, click on the link below in the description box. Get started with StreamYard. You can start as a free account and then you can go from there in terms of different levels. So start doing live streaming videos today. Also check the description box for more information about growing your brand, starting a YouTube channel, or even how to learn how to make your first $1,000 in one month. You can learn that all in the description box right below this video. My name is Adam Shelton. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you on the next video video.